Hey, what's going on you guys? Simpsons Man here and we are continuing the series with all of these Super 7 toys. This is the Simpsons line they did, Wave 1. Stick around, we're going to be opening up Poochie today. On today's video we are going to be opening up and reviewing and getting our hands on Poochie the Talking Dog. The name's Poochie D and I rock the telly. I'm half Joe Camel and a third Bonzarelli. I'm the From The Simpsons back in 1997 he debuted on The Simpsons and he became pretty much like a one shot phenomenon across the show. Homer, as you know it, was the voice of Poochie and the episode was definitely amazing to watch and of course it was hilarious. So in the previous two videos, we opened up all five of these but we didn't go into detail with them. The one before that one, we did Mo, so we actually got in detail. We played with the panda, all the different hands, the pickled eggs, the telephone. We just messed around with Mo in general. We did a couple side-by- shots comparisons of the old Springfield Mo versus the new one and today we are going to be opening up Poochie. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Poochie just like we did on one of the previous videos and we are gonna go ahead and open them up and get a hands-on feel, play around with them, see all the different accessories, the hands, the head, uh, the surfboard, just all the different ones. We're gonna go ahead and take them out of the packaging and see what we got here. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side so you can see Poochie over there and Poochie over there. Two different ones, he's got the look like this and then on this one he does have the surfboard. We're gonna go ahead and pull the surfboard out first just because it is in the back. Pop this guy off right here. Pretty nice quality. Go ahead and show you guys the surfboard. Just kind of similar like the one that he has on the picture right here. And we are gonna go ahead and get some of the accessories out now before we actually get Poochie. On this video, I did bring my knife because last video I did not and I was struggling to take off some of those pieces. So maybe it'll be a lot easier. I kind of wish I would've brought scissors, but just in case I you know, stabbed the character on accident and mess them up. I'm gonna be careful. I've seen a bunch of other people open them up and the pieces just fly everywhere. Uh, but we do have the guitar, Poochie's guitar. Kind of like a little flying V guitar right there. Uh, we do have the different heads. The heads on Poochie aren't really anything crazy. I'm definitely just going to leave the original head that he came with just because for facial expressions and everything. I'm actually, now that I'm looking at him, I'm kind of fond of this one. Uh, we'll see. We'll see exactly. I am noticing something right off the bat on this Poochie one that the mold is not a true mold for the, for the mouth. And it's gonna be really hard for you to see this, but I'm gonna show you. So let's see if I can, so this looks fine. You can see the inside just fine. But on this one, it looks like the jaw was put on there at a later time. You can see that. You can see this on the side where it's not connected correctly. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that, but that makes me feel like the jaw was put on there separately and it looks like it may even come off at one point. I'm kind of moving it around just to see, but I'm not gonna be putting this head on, so I'm not really too worried about it right now. Uh, the skateboard, all the wheels move, just, just like a nice little skateboard. It's really similar, yeah, it's really similar to Bart Simpson's little skateboard, kind of like that old school concave on there. It's got the little foothold on there for Poochie, which we'll, we will be testing out. Does the surfboard have anything like that? No, I guess not. The You'd have to, you know, that's how you have the surfboard. So you'd be on this part. So you really couldn't display them on the board. I guess you kind of could. Let's get the, uh, get all the different hands out so we can kind of see them all moving. So the hands, depending on how or what accessories I'm going to use, either the surfboard, I'm not sure if I'm going to just have the surfboard. That would be kind of cool if it could stand up. It almost, could it stand up? Uh, almost. But it'll probably have the surfboard in that. Uh, let's see, we have the peace sign. So we have the two different hands with the peace sign, uh, two different hands with him just kind of holding them out, and these other two, same exact thing, holding them out. So I'm assuming that one is maybe gonna be to hold his skateboard, which that's exactly what it's for. 
and the other one is going to be to hold his surfboard. So yeah, so these hands fit pretty nice along the lines of this. I'm just going to kind of put them on there for now just to kind of see what fits into what. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but I'm kind of jamming it on there. But yeah, we do have the hands on there. You know, they, they're they on there. They're not coming off. I'm going to take them off. Uh, and as well as the guitar, you know, he can, you know, he's going to be able to hold the guitar. It actually not sure, but he could have his hand on it like he's actually playing the guitar would be pretty cool. Uh, we'll see if that actually matches up here. Let me move some of this off to the side. And the fun part is taking this guy out. So, like I said, I brought a knife. I'm gonna be very careful because one little slip and I'm gonna jam it right inside the figure and that is not what I want to do, so. I got that one off really easily. It's this one that I'm worried about because this one's so, so close to the figure, that one little wrong slip and I'm going to nick it and I do not want to do that. So I'm actually gonna cut away, there we go. I cut towards the plastic so once it goes off, it just hits the plastic, so it's off. Now Mo was a pain in the ass to get off. I'm kinda curious to see if this is gonna be the same way. I'm gonna try to open it up like this, then push him. Sorry if it's really loud. It's really loud in here. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, that's insanely loud. I'm not sure how that's going to translate on camera or not, but off camera. <laughs> here we go. Just another, even his tail moves. He's got his, his knees, his feet, his hands. The hands I'm definitely going to swap, swap out. And maybe I'll just do that on camera just so you guys can see how easy or how hard it is to move. The head, okay, so the head actually came off really easily on this one. And we're gonna just try and see how easy or hard it is to pop a new head on there. Did, did that even go in? I don't, I can't even, I can't even tell. Okay, well I think that went, yeah, okay, so there we go. That's, the head wasn't actually that bad. A lot of people have been complaining about how hard the head is. And like I said, I'm really curious about this one because this one, the whole entire lower jaw is just disconnected. It's not on there whatsoever. Uh, it looks like it was maybe changed last minute or maybe they put something on there to support it and it just did not turn out the way it wanted it to. I have no clue. I'm just doing this off of observation. So the tail moves in a 360 degree motion. Uh, we do have the fanny pack, which is awesome. And it turns all, oh, it turns all the way around them, but it slides off, which I did not realize that. So I guess you could have Poochie with or without his fanny pack, but we're gonna leave his fanny pack on there. And it's kind of got like a little notch on his waist. So it just sits on there just perfect. I'm gonna kind of put his fanny pack off to the side and we are going to test out either how easy or how hard these hands were, are gonna be. So I just did the head. The head was actually pretty easy. A lot of people have been complaining about how they're not able to do the head at all. I've told them the hair, uh, hair dryer method and I'm just you know curious to see, but these heads are pretty cool. It's, it's kind of a bummer that these heads are just not gonna be really ever used again. I'm just gonna put them, I don't know if I'm gonna put them off to the side or anything. I'm probably just gonna put them in a little box or something because I'm not gonna be changing out these heads or anything like that but I am going to attempt to change out the hands. Well, I want to see if Poochie will fit first on this skateboard. Yep, he sure does. So I'm more than likely, let me see here. More than likely I'll have him set up on a skateboard. There we go. He's gonna be riding, it looks like he's not riding goofy, he's riding regular. If you're a skate, actually here. I'll go ahead and have him ride in Goofy. So if you're if you're a skateboarder and you know what that means, Goofy versus regular, that's just the different stance. It's not like you're Goofy as in funny or anything. That's just the different stances of skateboarding. I skateboarded for, I don't know, 12, 15 years. I, I'm a Goofy rider. And that's just, I guess that's just how his setup's gonna be. Like he's about to do a heel flip or something. But we're, we have him set up on the skateboard. And actually, let me take off the skateboard for right now because I'm going to try, I'll go ahead and show you poochie real quick before I do this and look at it it's just insane like the this poochie I'm so glad they did poochie another another kind of crazy one of like almost a deep cut you know because a lot of people you know 
if they're not like diehard Simpsons fans, they're not gonna even know who the heck this guy is. And I'm really surprised they didn't do more of like the f the family at first. And I think they probably did that for a reason. They did more of these like one ofs and stuff like that. Cause you know, any kind of line, they're always gonna just do the family out of the bat, uh, but they didn't. And I kind of like that that they didn't because it just makes this more interesting to collect. And I feel like these, you know, these uh, items of Super 7, they're not just for like your everyday, like, hey, I like the Simpsons kind of, I wanna have that. No, these are these are made for collectors, 100%. At the price point being $55 a piece and kind of like some of the deep cut ones like this, these are 100% made for the die hard Simpsons fans and more important, the collectors um, I am going to let's see I'm gonna put I don't know which hands I'm gonna put on because I, I think I'm gonna want him holding the guitar the only thing is is that I'm not sure because you know one hand is gonna per fit perfectly on there the other hand does not I guess it's not gonna really matter too much as long as he's kind of holding it but I'm gonna just see by pulling I'm just, I'm just afraid because I've broken so many toys in the past before that, yeah, so this, I'm pulling on this pretty dang hard, like, like, you can, you can't tell my figure, but it's all dented in and stuff because I'm pulling it out so hard. So I'm kind of curious to see if there's some kind of a method to this. Um, one suggestion that, you know, obviously the Super 7 guys, they don't look at this or anything, but one suggestion that I thought would be really cool is if these were grooved kind of like a screw. So instead of them, you know, pushing this in and pulling it out, why not just make it so you could screw the item in there? I think that would be a lot, lot better. I understand for the head, maybe the head, I guess, yeah, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess you couldn't screw it in because once you screwed it in really tight, the hand wouldn't really move. But to be honest, I think it would still be a good idea because once you get it to a certain point, all you gotta do is just kind of move it to whatever you want it to be at and that's it. Like you're not gonna constantly, it's not gonna be constantly moving around. Um, like I said, these are kind of for diehard uh, collectors and fans. So I don't see, you know, giving my five-year-old this $55 Poochie toy and letting her play with it for hours on end and moving it around. Like this is gonna be one of those, put it on the shelf, put it on display and just kind of let it sit there and collect dust, but more importantly, just to kind of look cool and fulfill part of your collection. I don't see these being played with every day. Obviously, if that's your intention, you know, go for it. You know, let your kids, your dog play with it, whatever. But for me, they're gonna be sitting in a glass case and just to look at, unfortunately, because that's uh, part of collecting is just putting stuff in containers and glass things and just letting them sit there forever build up value so we are not going to attempt to put more of these hands on there so unfortunately poochie is going to just sit just like this for now um he might maybe i'll just kind of prop like his surfboard like up beside him or something like that uh the guitar i'm gonna have to eventually put you know one of these hands on there because i want him to hold the guitar for sure uh the skateboard at least goes in there just you know without ease i heard a bunch of people saying hey the toys don't actually fit on these things and I mean this one fit first try no no problem whatsoever so they might be thinking about the third party stands and you know there's a reason why they're third party ones they might not exactly fit or not I haven't had those myself to test them out in person I am actually planning on buying a set for all of these just so like that they will stay up better but until then I, I can't really form an opinion about that uh, but that's it that's gonna be it for the video uh, it comes with two heads or two extra heads and one head on him so three heads total it has three four pairs of hands that you could swap around. You got a closed fist, peace sign, and then two different versions of holding stuff. And I'm assuming that's just for the different accessories. Uh, the guitar is thinner than the surfboard. The surfboard is a lot thicker. So if I were to look at, let's see here, some of the hands. This hand is definitely shaped bigger. So this would be for the surfboard versus the guitar. And yeah, so yeah, so two of them are definitely smaller grip and the, uh, the other two are definitely wider grip and that would be for the surfboard. So I'll kind of mess around with that to see if I could at least one last go while I could do it. I don't I feel like, oh, and I feel like I could probably pull it harder but I'm also grabbing by the elbow part. So my luck, I'm gonna pull out the whole elbow or something. And I mean, I'm having a hard time doing that. The head was actually very easy to do. Uh, that is the number one thing that people always complain about the head part, but the head for some reason was just I popped it off and on like without any problem at all, and it's on there like it's not it's not coming off at all. 
but the hands I'm having issues with, so I am going to do the whole hair dryer method uh, just to kind of heat it up, just to kind of get that plastic moving just a little bit, not like melted or anything, but just warm enough to make it loose, and then I should be able to just pop that on pop on the hands that I want to keep on there and then just leave them on there. And that's going to be it for this Poochie review video from Super 7. And this is Poochie from Super 7. This is the first wave of many. And they already have pre-orders for those. Those are old as heck. Uh, similar to these a year and a half ago, a year ago or so. So I'll be doing review videos on those. But unfortunately, we're not going to be even seeing those until the end of this year. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'm always posting on my Instagram any kind of new updates or anything that it comes to Simpsons whatsoever, as well as my TikTok, my Instagram. Even on Twitter, you'll see stuff from time to time. And that is going to be it for the video. So Thank you so much for checking out another video. And if you like all things Simpsons and you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not a subscriber and if you're new here, we talk about different types of Simpsons toy collecting, my Simpsons room that I'm always posting about on my reels and my shorts. Um, we're always doing reviews on like toys, unboxing, any kind of news like a Simpsons movie or anything like that. We're always posting it on this channel and stay tuned for more Super 7 ones. This is just the third video in the whole entire series. We're doing each one, so you can actually see the list at the end of this video if you wanna see any of the previous ones or any other videos. Go check them out if you like Simpsons. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, see ya.